What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can import an existing world into a server of yours. So to begin, you don't really need to move your world anywhere if you've got the server installed on the same computer that you're playing the actual game on. In that case, all you have to do is edit the start file for your server. Why is that? Well, simply because if you're going to be moving the world from your current offline game into the server's game, you don't need to move it anywhere on your PC. But if you're uploading it to something like a virtual private server or something like that on the internet, you'll have to navigate across to a folder on your PC. Let's go ahead and do that now. Simply hold down start, press R and the run dialog box will appear. Inside of here, type in percentage user profile percentage backslash app data backslash local low. Then simply hit enter and a new file browser will open. Inside of here, open the iron gate folder, Valheim, and then the worlds folder over here. These are all of the worlds that you currently have in your offline version of the game. And the characters folder contains all of your character data. Of course, you'll only be uploading the worlds folder to your server if you have it elsewhere. Simply upload these files here to the worlds folder in your server's files. Usually it'll be inside of a config folder. But why I mentioned if you're running this on the same computer that you're actually playing the game on is because this is the same place that the server stores the worlds. Unless you specifically defined a separate location for the config in the server files, these are the files that it will use. So let's assume that. Either you have it installed on the same computer and this is the worlds folder that the server's files are in as well, or you've simply uploaded these world files to your server, what do we need to do next? Well, simply navigate across to your actual server files and open up the script that you use to run the server. In my case, it's this one, run me for server.bat. I'll simply open it up, but for you it may be something like start.bat. Once it opens up, you'll see the command at the very bottom here or somewhere else within it telling your server how to run. As you can see, we have a hyphen world argument here and a name inside of quotation marks. All we have to do is make sure that that name matches the name of one of the world files here. Currently, it's on my test world over here, but I'll copy the name from this one, testworld.db, and I'll paste it in between these quotation marks, save the file, and then start up my server. By doing this, we'll now be loading into a world that actually has progress in it. So I'll simply wait for the server to start up, and we'll open up Steam and connect to my server. View servers favorites and my localhost server should pop up in just a moment. There we go. As you can see, 127001, that's the server over here. Punching in my password and connecting to it, clicking start and entering the password once again, you can see that we've successfully connected to our world that has a whole bunch of progress in it. Here's the house that I was playing the single player version of the game with and I'm pretty sure you've seen it once or twice in my server videos as well. Why is that? Well, simply because I imported it the same way that I did here. I created all of this in the single player version of the game and now it's running on a server. If I wanted to, I could run commands and invite other people to join. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!